we want to evaluate the indefinite integral. Notice here we have an integral of tangent to the fourth x times secant to the fourth x. So when we have an integral involving powers of tangent and powers of secant, there are two main strategies. One strategy is used when we have an even power of secant, and notice in this case we do because we have secant to the fourth x. The second strategy is when we have an odd power of tangent, which in this case we don't have. Let's review these two strategies from a previous lesson. Again, in our case, because we have a power of secant that is even, we're going to save a secant squared factor and convert the remaining factors to tangents. And the reason for this is we're going to let u equal tangent x and therefore differential u is equal to secant squared x dx. So this is the reason why we have to save a factor of secant squared x. Now the second strategy, which doesn't apply in this case, is when we have an odd power of tangent, in this case, we save a factor of secant tangent and convert the remaining factors to secants. We'll take a look at this case in the next example. So going back to our example though, we want to save a factor of secant squared and convert the remaining secant factors to tangent. So to begin, let's rewrite this as the integral of tangent to the fourth x. Let's break this secant to the fourth into secant squared x times secant squared x. And then we have our dx. So this is the factor of secant squared that we're saving. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to let u be equal to tangent x and therefore differential u will be equal to secant squared x dx. Let's look at what we have so far. If u is equal to tangent x, notice how we could write this as u to the fourth. And then if differential u is equal to secant squared dx, all of this is just differential u. Leaving us with this extra factor of secant squared, which we want to write in terms of tangent, so we can then write in terms of u. So using the identity tangent squared x plus one equals secant squared x, we can replace the secant squared x with tangent squared x plus one. Which means we would now have the integral of tangent to the fourth x times, instead of secant squared x, again we'll have tangent squared x plus one, and then we still have secant squared x dx. And now we should be able to write this all in terms of u. Again, if u equals tangent x, this would be u to the fourth, this would be the quantity u squared plus one, and this would be differential u. So again, we have u to the fourth times the quantity u squared plus one du. Next we'll distribute and then integrate. So we have the integral of u to the sixth plus u to the fourth. Applying the power rule of integration, we would have u to the seventh divided by seven plus u to the fifth divided by five plus c. And now our last step is to write this in terms of x, and since u equals tangent x, Let's write this as one seventh tangent to the seventh x plus one fifth tangent to the fifth x plus c. This would be our antiderivative. So again, remember, this is our strategy when we have an even power on the secant function. Next we'll take a look at an example where we have an odd power on the tangent function. I hope you found this helpful.